The internet is filled with hidden identities. Among those are the catfishers, people who create fake personas online. But why do they do it? To understand, we dive deep into the psychology of catfishing. The term catfishing comes from a 2010 documentary. It describes the act of luring someone into a relationship by pretending to be someone else online. But what drives a person to do this? Most catfishers are driven by a desire for connection. They create a new identity to attract attention, often crafting a persona they believe will be more appealing than their true self. Loneliness and low self-esteem also play a big role. Catfishers may feel isolated in their physical world, making the allure of an attentive online audience incredibly appealing. Some catfishers are driven by revenge or spite. They may use a false identity to hurt or manipulate someone who has wronged them in the past. Then, there are those who catfish for financial gain, using affection and trust to scam individuals out of money. This form of catfishing is most common in online dating scams. However, not all catfishers are motivated by malicious intent. Some may be seeking validation or emotional support they feel they can't get as their real selves. The psychological impacts on victims of catfishing are often severe. They may feel betrayed, embarrassed, and even traumatized after discovering the deception. Moreover, victims often blame themselves for being deceived, leading to decreased self-esteem and trust issues. This is exacerbated by the societal stigma associated with falling for such scams. Despite these devastating effects, catfishing continues to be prevalent. This is due, in part, to the anonymity provided by the internet, which makes it easy for catfishers to operate undetected. To combat catfishing, we must first understand it. It's important to know the signs of a potential catfish, such as inconsistencies in their story or reluctance to meet in person. Understanding the psychology behind catfishing can also help us empathize with victims. Instead of blaming them for being gullible, we should offer support and understanding. Likewise, understanding why people catfish can lead to better prevention strategies. This includes fostering healthy self-esteem and social connections in real life. To sum up, catfishing is a complex issue that requires a multifaceted approach. Our understanding of its psychology can help protect individuals while combating this online phenomenon. Remember, the internet is a wonderful tool for connection, but it's important to stay vigilant. Always verify who you're connecting with, because not everyone online is who they seem to be.